Hey guys, it's James Thacker here with uh, Inspire Guitars, and we're finishing up our uh, our neck for Safira. This is the Rise of Safira. I believe this is episode six of the neck. Um, we've got our our neck here that we worked on earlier, uh, or actually yesterday, and today we're going to put the ears on for the headstock and I'm going to start by using my plane here and get these things squared up and stuff and uh, that's probably all we'll do tonight and then tomorrow we'll cut our router or take our router and cut our nut slot and those slots for the um, carbon fiber reinforcement rods so let's dive right in here let me get you adjusted so you can see We don't need much. This was pretty well ready to go earlier, but I do have a little high spot here that I'm trying to get rid of. We'll take our, oh, I already had it out. Take our little square. Looks pretty good, but we've got a spot right here. Just taking little passes. Doesn't need to be anything massive. And I believe that's got us there. All right, there's that. That one. It's going to be short work. I really got that plane dialed in and working great. Perfect. So let's just leave that right there. Let's get our saw. Let's move our clamp. This is a Japanese style saw. I like them pretty well. Really easy to use. Super sharp. Goes right through that like butter. All right, so there's one. Let's get our next one. Work holding clamps. Got to have lots of clamps. Get your stuff down tight. Not a lot of force on this, guys, to get this to cut through. This is like butter. <laughs> Seriously, it's better than butter. We can put these two pieces in where we need it. And you should have, when you look at it, you should have two really solid, seamless pieces. 
and I want these to sit down towards the bottom the neck because we're going to cut this away so I don't need a whole lot of meat up here it just gives me something more to have to cut it usually flow yeah see it's flowing pretty good so we're going to put a liberal amount on each one of them I use a little cheap plastic putty knife to spread my stuff around. I've seen guys use paint brushes and whatnot and use whatever works as long as you get it uniform coverage. And the same thing with this one. Okay, so we put the wax paper down underneath of these. And it's important that you get it right. I want to see squeeze out everywhere. on this thing. because you can squeeze out too much of your glue. We just want these things tight. All right, that is the next little segment of this done, guys. So we are, as I like to say, rocking and rolling. We'll let that dry tonight, and uh, then we can start doing some stuff tomorrow. Hey guys, it's James here with Inspired Guitars and we are in the spot where we're going to route out for our um, truss rod. So give me a second, I'm going to reconfigure here. I'm going to turn this microphone off so I don't blast your ears with this uh, router. But I've got my router set up and my template is laid out here. Well, Lock it down with a couple of clamps and uh, we'll wrap this bad boy out. All right, guys, we're going to take our router, we're going to route our truss rod out here. So I'm going to turn this thing off real quick.
this little tool right here off of Amazon. And all I did was figured out how deep I wanted it in. I took it and I went down the length and flipped it over and went down the length. Okay. Back out a little more. And I went down the length this way just holding it up against the edge and that made a nice perfectly straight line. Then I took my pencil here and just followed the groove and voila, we're there. I will be able to use a little fence that I have, maybe. I might have to use that probably have to use that uh, backer board that I that little cheat that I did earlier with it um, because of the uh, it's angled and there's not a whole lot left there to bite on once you do away with this so We'll use these as our stops, these clamps. We'll move them up here so that I can't go any further or something. We'll figure something. We'll put a, a clamping call in there or whatever. And then we're going to be ready to do the headstock up here. And then put the fretboard on and press in some frets. And I'm and shape the back of this neck, the heel, the back of the headstock, drill some holes, and then we'll be ready to add our wings on. So we're getting there. This is the intricate part, the fretboard, the neck route, the headstock. Those are all things that take a little time to get done. But uh, we are definitely getting there. We'll be back on it Sunday. We'll probably work a little bit every evening. I got to get an eighth inch spiral bit so I can lay these reinforcement rods in. I've lost mine somewhere. I don't know where the heck it is. I could do it with a Dremel, but it's, it's way easier if you got the right router bit. And I don't care to go get one. Make sure I get it right. So, oh yeah, and watch those spiral bits when you're taking them out. The edges on those things are sharp. I laid myself open. Of course, I went to the uh, high-profile emergency aid kit, which is just a piece of painter's tape. Hey, everyone. It's James here again with Inspire Guitars, and we're working on Safira again this evening. I've got a setup here. We're going to add the uh, carbon fiber uh, reinforcement rods. Um, I've got my Dremel out here. I hope this is going to work. We'll see. Uh, we're going to try to route this thing out and uh, I'll show you what I'm doing here. Uh, if you haven't had a chance, you might want to check out. This would be episode six, no, seven, seven. Episode one is the introduction. Episode two is parts and materials breakdown. Episode three is the rendering, uh, the drawing of Safira. Episode four is templates. Episode five was cutting and building the fretboard uh, and marking the slots. Episode six is cutting the slots and staining the fretboard, adding the binding. Episode seven is going to be um, was cutting the neck. <laughs> Gosh, we are on episode eight, installing the truss rod and the carbon fiber reinforcement strips. So, yeah, we're getting her done. It's rolling along here. Um, it's starting to look pretty good. We've got uh, a little work here to do, so. I'm going to get you down so you can see what I've got. I've got a fence set up here. And what this is going to do is I've got my Dremel here with my little 
router bit and I'm going to take this and just follow right along. Need to make a little adjustment there. And we're just gonna follow along all the way down. It'll cut our channel for our reinforcement rod and we'll be ready to roll. We'll stick those, glue those in and uh, then we'll move on to putting the fretboard on. Now we just got to clean our track out here. And then we should be We should be there. Let's give it a little tap. Just to make sure. Well, that is too good a fit. We want to go just a smidgen more, and a smidgen is not an official measurement, but that will sit just, just below the line. And that should fit. Yep, that fits perfect down in there. By the time we glue it, it will be absolutely straight on just like the heart song straight on okay now we got a whole other side to do here 
So let's get cracking. Making sure that my line and my drill bit or my router bit are spot on. This needs to go just a touch back that direction. And as you can see, we are dead on. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to take this. I'm going to loosen the thumb screw. I'm going to back you all out just a little bit. And loosen the thumb screw. I'm going to move it down. I'm going to drill my hole here. That's my depth. Now, So that's what we have guys. We have two truss rod slots or a truss rod slot and two reinforcement slots and we'll glue these things in and here's what we're going to do. Just regular tight bond original wood glue. Okay, so what we have here is um, this is our nut. If you can see that nut line, what we need to do is come down. And I'm 
need to get a measurement here. Let's just see. Not necessarily a measurement, but just a depth stop. That looks good to me. Let's go down here and mark it out. <clears throat> now we take our handy protractor. Put it up there. Get us a straight line down through here. That's off. That's better. <coughs> Pardon me. And that's going to be our our cut for our headstock. And then we know that that is a typical headstock is about 15 15 mil thick so let's go here and let's go to 15 mil It's 15 right dead on it. And let's go right there. And right there. Let's play connect those dots. Doesn't look right to me. I think it's just the grains playing playing games with me. Now got a volute here. Not real sure what we're going to do there. Do something nice. Now. Let's go my guess is the bottom of that is still not that so We go to 20, 